Welcome back, this is John Locke, and today I wanna to tie together a couple of ideas, but specifically I want to talk about the phenomenon where you've made changes to your website, and then maybe a couple months later, you'll see it go to the top. Why does that happen? Okay, so we've talked about this in previous videos. We've talked about how design is a competitive advantage and why that happens. Uh, ultimately, it's because sites that have better design are more satisfying to users. When something is presented in a way that is pleasing, it, it has good design, there's been thought put into it, there's been um, effort put into making the design look good, uh, then people are more apt to think more highly of that site and spend more time on it. If all other things are equal, if the information on two different sites are equal, the way that it's presented is going to make a difference. And the reason why that is, is because Google actually measures user signals. Remember in the past we've talked about how does Google measure user signals. Now, I'm gonna talk about this in a video like later this week, but it just came out that Chrome is sending data uh, back to somewhere else. There is data that is coming out of Chrome. That's a theory that we've talked about before because again, Google has to find a way to actually measure things in an efficient way whether people are satisfied with the page or not. And for those people who have said, you know, they use Google Analytics to determine bounce rate and, you know, these sorts of things, and Google says that's a weak signal. The reason why they're saying that, and they've said that before, is I really do believe that they're using user signals from Chrome, possibly from Android, who knows, but they own both those companies. But Google Chrome, which has like 70% uh, user rate on desktop, and I, I forget what it is on mobile, but it's, it's still significant enough to where they could have coverage of pretty much most of the sites in the world and get actual user data. That would tell them just from even from the mouse movements, and, mouse movements and stuff like that, they can apparently tell if you're satisfied with the page or not. I know that they can detect whether you're a human or not, so it stands to reason that they can probably tell whether you were satisfied with the page or not just from stuff like mouse movements, okay? So that is why sites that are better designed over time rise to the top. So, and again, Google Analytics, only half the sites in the world have it. So Google Analytics can't be the, the way that they're actually getting data. Um, okay, so let's move on to another thought about this. So I've seen this phenomenon now, I've seen it a few times where you have a client site and you make significant changes, you change all the content or improve the content and possibly you're making changes to the design as well. And what seems to happen, you might do some other things, you know, with the external as well, like, you know, the, the links and stuff like that, or make changes to their outside profiles as well. But what seems to happen is, let's say that they're on page two or three for these terms. There'll be some movement, they'll start moving up, right? And eventually, for some of these search terms, they'll get to page one, but it won't, they won't go immediately to number one or anything like that. They might go to the bottom half of page one. Now, this is where Google is starting to push them a little bit. They're starting to push this site to see how it does. We talked about this too, like, you know, a lot of times you'll see movement within the search rankings because, again, Google can't get a ton of data unless they push a page a little higher to where it can get some impressions, some clicks, and some actual data. Then they can actually tell if people are happy with it or not. So once you're on page one, you might see, you might be down in the bottom of, of page one, sometimes this will happen. But then all of a sudden it might be two months later, 
Might be two months, might be three months, whatever it is. But all of a sudden, that site will lift into the top three or the top five, or it will lift up like significantly from where it was. Let's say it was at number nine or number 10. It might lift all the way to like number two or something like that. Why does that happen? It happens because Google got enough user data to determine that people were happy with that page. Now, there's another video, this isn't my exact idea, uh, but there's another video where we analyze an article by uh, an SEO author, SEO Theory. They're talking about vectors, which are essentially patterns that Google looks for in pages that satisfy a user search. So these patterns, these vectors can be different things. They can be the content, they can be the link profile, they can be elements that are in the page, but they can also be how people are satisfied with the page in certain activities that they might take. You know, what things do they click? How long do they linger on the page? The scroll depth, um, you know, certain things that they might do on the page. It, it might be a uh, goal completion, like filling out a contact form. All these different things are indications. So all these things are patterns that Google is looking for that are characteristics of web pages that satisfy a search. What I'm trying to say here is, just because you don't instantly go to number one doesn't mean that that's as high as you're ever gonna get. Because if you've done things correctly and you've improved the content, improved the design and the layout of the site, if you've improved your link profile and gotten links from places that Google expects you to get links from, again, another pattern, then over time, Google will push you a little bit and if they say, that seems to be satisfying people more than these other web pages that we've been pushing, then they're gonna give you the big push. And usually that's a delayed reaction of a couple of months. So tell me if you've seen something similar because I've seen it a lot uh, now. My name is John Locke. My business is Lockdown Design and SEO and I'm here on a daily basis giving you SEO tips, advice, insight, answering questions. And I wanna say thank you to all the people who have subscribed. Let's continue. Let's see if we can get to 1,000 subscribers. I know we can do it. Momentum is on our side. I'll be back tomorrow. Until next time, peace.